Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, my name is Tamika and in today's video I am going to be decluttering my lipsticks. Now I have been on a bit of a decluttering train ride binge I don't know. I've really been into decluttering my makeup lately. So I do have a few videos that I will link down below if you haven't seen them already. Now today for lipsticks, I don't have like an extremely overwhelming collection, but I've got enough that like I don't need them all. Okay, so here are my most used lipsticks. I've just got them in this little lipstick holder from Kmart. And then down here in this drawer are all the others. All right, so here are all my lipsticks. My organizers are from Vanity Collections. I will link them down below for you. Okay, let's move these ones to the side and start with this section here. Now, I feel like a lot of swatching is going to be involved, so let me go get a makeup remover. All right, so I've just gone and wet one of my Bisu makeup removing cloths. I freaking love these. I've been using them for years now. All right, first up I have these two NYX Love Out Loud Liquid Lipsticks. Now, oh my goodness, I haven't used these in so long, I cannot remember, but I think I really like both these shades. It's a little bit pale of a pink, but, oh, I know I love this shade. I just can't remember what the formula's like. Look at that, oh. Okay, look. <laughs> Starting off strong, I'm going to keep these. Now, this one here is the Rimmel Stay Matte Liquid Lipstick. I think I'm going to get rid of this one. The shade isn't my favorite. Oh, look. I think this formula isn't very nice. It's a bit more of like a, a whipped formula, so it does get a little cracky on the lips. I think I'll pass that one on. Next, I have this Kylie Cosmetics and Coco Lipstick. This is in the shade Gorge. And one of my best friends actually got this for me because we call each other Gorge. <laughs> so this ain't going anywhere. Next, I have a bunch of ColourPop lippy sticks. Now these are super old. I think I'll get rid of most of these. This shade here, leather, as if I'm gonna wear a purple lipstick like that ever again. That can go. This shade Pitch I actually really like. It's a beautiful deep brown. I think I have a lipstick like this in my MAC lipsticks though. So I'll pass this one on because it is very old. Another deep purpley shade. Ooh, look, I will just see if I have anything else like that in my collection because I do like to have a variety. Now this is going to be the most unflattering hand <laughs> the entire video. Oh my God, so bony. Now this shade here doesn't have the shade on it. Oh, but I used to love this one. Look at it, it's a beautiful cool tone. Look, I think I'll keep that. And then this is more of a pinky. I'm surprised because these actually still feel really beautiful. Like they've not gone dry or anything. I do like that color, but I know it's not really a color I wear often. Hmm. I might hold on to that and just test it out because that's a beautiful shade. Next, I have this Maybelline Color Blur. I don't know if they still make these, but it's like a lip crown. Oh, what the heck? Oh, there we go. <laughs> I don't think this is a shade that I'm going to be wearing anytime soon. So that one can go. And then this here is the BYS Cream Lipstick. It's a very nude shade. I think, oh, oh, concealer lips. That one can go. Next, I have this Chi Chi Creamy Matte Liquid Lipstick. Is Chi Chi even still around? They used to sell it at Target. Oh, that's a nice shade. Look, it is quite similar, I feel, to this one. Oh, God, these tones just do it for me, hey. Look, I'm pretty sure I have a Huda Beauty liquid lipstick that is similar to this, and I haven't touched that Chi Chi lipstick in years, so it can go. Next, I have this Gloss by ColourPop. It's a bit uh, separated in there. I'm pretty sure this is more of a glittery one. Yeah, look, I haven't reached for that in a while, so that one can go. This Maybelline, what are these called? Superstay Matte Ink. These are a really nice liquid lipstick formula. Mine's a bit feral. 
but this is the shade Loyalist. I really like this nude shade. This one's definitely staying. Next, I have this Revolution Liquid Lipstick in the shade My Sign. That's a nice shade, but it is very similar to the Maybelline. And I don't know what the formula is like. Is it liquid lipstick? Oh no, it's a lip gloss. Okay, actually I might keep that then because it's a gloss. If it was a liquid lipstick, I would have gotten rid of it because it's similar to that. I actually think this one here by Revolution is a liquid lipstick. It says matte lipstick in the shade buff. Yeah, I have a feeling this isn't the most comfortable formula and very similar to the Maybelline, so that one can go. Next, I have these three Maybelline Color Drama lip pencils. Ugh, look. I am just gonna get rid of these. They're friggin' disgusting. <laughs> Next, I have an Astralis Girl Boss lipstick. This is in the shade Flawless. These formulas are one of my favorite. This shade, though, isn't something I typically reach for, but I think I might keep it because I just love the formula of these. Then I have this BYS Glass Glow lip gloss. I'm going to keep this one because this is a really nice formula of lip gloss. And then I have by L'Oreal, these are the infallible 24 hour lipsticks. So one side has a lipstick and then the other side, is it a gloss? Or is it more lipstick? I'm a little confused. This shade looks quite nice. Oh, okay. One shade is, I mean, one side is just clear. Okay, I'm very confused. <laughs> All right, it's got instructions. Let's start again. One side is a lipstick. Oh, that's a really nice shade. And then number two, you put the boosting balm on top. Look, I'm gonna keep this one because I freaking love that shade and I'll test it out. Let me see what the other shades are like. This one looks like a bit more of a cooler nude. It's a bit more of a mauve tone. I think I might get rid of that one. This shade here looks, oh, it's like a brown. Oh, I love a brown. <laughs> it is a little sheer though. And when you go for a dark color, they do look best when they're very opaque. So I might get rid of that one. I have a feeling this deep purple is going to be similar. Yeah, it's a bit on the sheer side and that isn't a color that I go through like crazy. So that one can go. Well, I did pretty well there. These are the lipsticks I'm getting rid of from that section. And this is what I'm keeping. All right, next little section. These are mostly bullet lipsticks. Let's see. Okay, here is another one of the BYS glosses. This is the High Shine. This color isn't something that I'm going to reach for. Oh, look at that. It is so pretty though. I don't know, this is one of those lipsticks or like colors that I just want in my collection for like a just in case. I'm gonna keep it. <laughs> Here I have the Too Faced Melted Matte. Is this a liquid lipstick? It's a liquefied matte long wearing lipstick. Just a little sample. Ooh, that's a nice shade. I don't ever remember using this though, so maybe I should dip into that. I'm gonna keep that. All right, next I've got two of the designer brands moisturizing lipsticks. This one is Nude Latte. I think that's a bit too Barbie pink for my liking, so that one can go. And then this one is in the shade Antique Rose. Again, not really my kind of tone, so that can go. Here I have one of the BYS Lux Lips. This is in the shade Idolize. These lipsticks are so beautiful and really nice formula as well. It is a bit more of a, it's kind of rosy, but red. I'm pretty sure I used this recently and I really liked it, so I'm going to keep that. Then I have three here by MAC. This is the shade Mocha. I'm sure I'm gonna keep all of these because I, have carefully selected my MAC lipsticks. Oh, here's the brown shade I was talking about. It's called Photo. And here is Velvet Teddy. Velvet Teddy actually pulls quite deep on me. A lot of people, like when I first purchased it, it was a really nude shade, but because I'm so fair, it does pull a bit deeper, but still a really nice shade. Next, I have this Dose of Colors lipstick. This was a collaboration with Desi and Katie. So I don't think I'll get rid of this. The color is um, a bit strange. It pulls a bit weird on me. 
but um look i love desi and katie so i'm keeping that <laughs> and then here i have the huda beauty liquid lipstick in the shade trendsetter these are a really really comfortable liquid lipstick how long have i been out of focus for wow how rude um and they come in little mini ones so i really like that i'm definitely going to be keeping this it's a beautiful shade Oh yeah, that does it for me. Next, I have this Flower Beauty Petal Pout Lipstick in the shade Naked Blush. It's actually what I'm wearing today. It is more of a light pink. I'm definitely going to be keeping that one. It's a very nice shade. Next, I have these L'Oreal and is it Karl Lagerfeld lipsticks? This was a recent collaboration. The packaging of these is... Oh, that is beautiful. I half want to keep them just because of the packaging. Like when I build my new house, I want to really do up my makeup room. These would look so nice on display. So that could get in my decision making way here. This is the shade Contrasted. See, I don't even know if they sell these anymore either. Yeah, that's not really a shade I'm going to go for. And I'm pretty sure I kept that ColourPop one that is similar. Let me see. The Colourpop one's a bit deeper. I think I prefer that one anyway. Here I have Cultured. This is a pink. Oh, that's a nice pink shade. Similar to the Flower Beauty. Oh, the Flower Beauty is a bit more peachy. Next, I have a bright pink. See, this is one of the shades that I'm like, I don't wear this often, but I want to keep it in my collection just you know, to have it in case I need that shade one day. Does anyone else love the smell of L'Oreal lipsticks? They're like that classic lipstick smell. Okay, here is, whoa, whoa. that is a bright pink. <gasps> oh, see, I just want to keep that for the shade. Oh my God, that is beautiful. And then this is, looks more like a nude. Oh, that's a nice shade. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep this shade this shade and this shade and lastly for this section i've got a bunch of the l'oreal color Riche shine lipsticks these are a really beautiful formula i do have some of my favorite nude shades over in my other section there first up is the shade high on craze this looks like a very coral yeah that's really not something i'm going to wear so that one can go this lipstick formula is beautiful though. Very, very comfortable. Oh my God, I don't know what the hell happened to this one. Did I bite it? <laughs> mm, that's an unusual shade, isn't it? I don't know, would that, what would that look like? I'm trying to hold it up to my, it's like a very, I, I kind of want to try that shade out. Look, I'm just going to sit it to the side and I'll try that during the week. Um, another kind of bright pink. That one can go. Oh, this one looks like a nice shade. Mm, I think actually that'll be a little bit too warm for my liking. That can go. Yeah, a bit too Barbie pink for me. That can go. And lastly, this looks like a bit of a deep red. Oh, that's a beautiful red. Okay, I'm gonna keep the red because that's really nice. All right, well, I did pretty well. This is what that section now looks like. And then this is the last section I have here. Now these Anastasia Beverly Hills lipsticks, I think I've decluttered them like 30 times already, but every time I put them back in my collection because they were the very first high-end lipsticks I ever bought. Well, I didn't buy them. Clinton actually got them for me as a present as per my request. <laughs> They're just a bit more sentimental to me because it's like when I first started getting into makeup and purchasing high-end items was like, oh man, it was big business. So I'm going to keep them. All right, these two here by Chi Chi can definitely go. The packaging is sticky, it's disgusting. This lipstick here is by Napoleon. <laughs> I was about to say Napoleon Dynamite, wow. <laughs> Just Napoleon and it's in the shade Hess. Now, again, I haven't used this one in ages, but I'm not getting rid of it because it's also sentimental to me. When I wasn't really that into makeup, oh look, it's so broken, I can't even swatch it. But one of my girlfriends had this beautiful nude lipstick and I borrowed it one day and I was like, oh my God, that's so nice. And it's Napoleon, it was all fancy. 
and then she got this for me for my birthday so that's the story behind that I think it needs a little bit of a clean but I'm going to keep that here I have a sample of a Colourpop ultra satin oh that's a nice shade might keep that this is a little mini NARS lipstick in the shade Joyous Red. Okay, this looks quite nice too. It's a bit more sheer than I thought. Mm, I might actually get rid of that one. Next, I've got this lipstick by Youngblood. I don't even know where this come from. That is literally concealer lips that can go. I've got two here by Astralis. These are quite old, so I'll probably get rid of these. Wow, this is a deep purple. Oh my God. It's like a black purple that can go and then I freaking loved this shade mumbo it was my go-to nude lipstick I actually made quite a dent in this one and I have another one I think it might still be in my handbag let's check out the shade it's a very cool tone nude oh I think I might try this one out again because I really loved the shade back in the day and I have a feeling the really old one's in my bag, so I might get rid of the really old one. This here is the L'Oreal and Balmain collab. This is the shade Liberation. I don't know why I have so many of these damn purple lipsticks. Like, have you ever seen me wear a purple lipstick? These are the Revolution Lip Toppers. They're quite a glittery formula, but I like to go in and just lightly dab them on my lips and it leaves a really nice glow. So I'm gonna keep those. Next, I have a bunch of lipsticks by BYS. So these are the Marble Collection. Okay, I think I'll get rid of these two and I'll keep this one. And then these are the Metallic Lipsticks. Wow, look at this shade. Oh my god. <gasps> oh, that is actually really, really pretty. Look how pigmented that is. And that is beautiful. I don't think I'll ever wear that though. These are so pigmented and opaque. That is beautiful. I think I might keep this one here because I do love a nude. And even that red's really nice. Okay, I'm going to get rid of this. No, this one and this one. All right, well, this is what this section looks like decluttered. And here are all the lipsticks that I'm getting rid of. Wow, I'm really surprised in myself. All right, well, that is all for today's video. If you enjoyed watching it, please give this video a thumbs up as it really supports my channel. And leave me a comment down below letting me know how many lipsticks you own. I'm gonna do a quick count. Okay, that was a real rough count, but I have about 65 to 70 lipsticks. That's a lot. I don't need that many. If you would like to see my other lipstick section and what my favorite go-to shades are, then leave me a comment and maybe I can make that a separate video. All right, well, if you aren't already, make sure you subscribe to my channel and come follow me over on Instagram. I hope you're all having a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye.